Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Nine months ago I tested Whisper on the Raja Rock 5A with the Rock chip RK3588S. Now someone asked in the comments if I tried the turbo model. So nine months ago uh, there was no turbo model uh, but it seems they added it so um, yeah hopefully you can read this it's a bit small but um, I used the medium model and this is actually a file that's a bit over seven minutes and the processing time was more than two hours with the medium model uh, so that wasn't exactly fast uh, with the tiny model uh, it became more acceptable but yeah still considerably more than the seven minutes now here is the GitHub page for Whisper. Um, yeah, at the moment I'm using the Ubuntu image by Joshua Rick. And well, just. Um, Yeah, and with Ubuntu, the Python environment is what they call externally managed. So you can't install it like this. And you can install it with pipx. So Like this. Well, I already installed it, so there's no need to execute it for me. Um, Pipex is not installed by default, so yeah, you probably have to do sudo apt install pipx. So here it says uh, that it's already installed. And now they have a turbo model and you need around six gigabytes of memory and it's roughly four times faster than the medium model now I have uh, done some tests uh, I used the same video file as the previous video my YouTube video and whisper yeah it still took around a bit over half an hour for a clip that was seven minutes and a bit so i've searched to see if there are faster options and there are so there is insanely fast whisper but it seems at the moment that uh, it does need an nvidia gpu which i don't have uh, so this didn't work for me so well perhaps in the future that you can run it cpu only who knows So, but at the moment, unfortunately, I can't use this. 
um, I found faster whisper. And yeah, I wasn't really able to use it. Not really sure what went wrong, but the good part is, is that there are some projects that use faster whisper, let's just say as the backend. And then I found whisper C translate too. Um, yeah, they also have some other projects. Um, so you can try to install it like this, but if you are on Ubuntu or any other environment, where Python is externally managed, then again, just install it with uh, Bipex. Um, yeah, when you install it with Pipx, you um, the first time it will tell you that uh, it has been installed, but it's not in your path environment variable. So with pipx ensure path, uh, it will be available in your path. And to use completions, then you can execute pipx completions. So now if we um, go back to Whisper C Translate 2, so I tested it also, and now, um, yeah, it, it, it's almost as fast as the time of the clip itself, like a bit over seven minutes. And yeah, the model name is a bit different because with uh, just the base version of Whisper, the model name is just Turbo. As you can see here, for instance, um, but with Whisper C Translate 2, um, the model name is a bit different for the Turbo model. I don't know if. Well, anyway. The turbo model that I used with Whisper C Translate 2 is Large V3 Turbo. And they also say that you can play around with the compute type quantization. Quantization, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, at least for me on the Rockchip RK3588, I didn't see any significant difference in the performance. So, well, perhaps on Intel and AMD, that's different. Who knows? Um, I wouldn't be surprised that, uh, yeah, it's not as optimized on ARM as it is on x86. So who knows, but perhaps in the future that uh, might change. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's nice to see that you can get a reasonable performance on a rock chip RK3588, which is an ARM chip with uh, Whisper and in this case Whisper C Translate 2. Um, yeah, in, in the future, perhaps there will come some more options, uh, some more variants of Whisper. Uh, yeah, as I showed, uh, the insanely fast Whisper. Who knows uh, when I can get that working on CPU only. And then probably by the time that I see that it is available for CPU only, I will try to do a video on that also. So. That's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.